Okay, so one more example here, solving word problems involving velocity or forces. So, um, suppose suppose you've got a, a, a four hundred, or excuse me, a four thousand pound box here that's on a ramp, and a seven hundred pound force is keeping it, just barely keeping it from sliding down. So uh, we want to find what's the angle of this ramp. Okay, uh, kind of the trick here. So. Here's kind of the, the, you know, here's you holding the box up. You're applying a, a force of 700 pounds. Well, a force is a magnitude or a length. We can think about that as being a length. Um, we've got this, uh, this 4,000 pound uh, box that's creating this vector pointing straight down. Um, so we'll have a vector with length uh, 4,000. If we make a right angle, just like we have, so I'm trying to expand my picture here a little bit. It turns out that whatever the angle of the ramp is, uh, this angle, theta, will be the exact same angle. So the angle inside of here, theta, will be the same as the angle of inclination of the ramp. So uh, to figure out theta, well, let's see, we're given the opposite side, we're given the hypotenuse of our triangle. I think we could just say, well, sine of theta will be the opposite over the hypotenuse. So we can cancel out some zeros here. And all I'm going to do is I'm just going to take arc sine of both sides. So we'll take arc sine of 7 over 40. And that's all we have to do in this case. So plug this in the old calculator here. So 7 divided by 40. Um, that's just going to be 0 0.175. And now if we do arc sine of that, I'm getting this to be roughly 10.08 degrees, which I'm just going to round off to 10 degrees. So the angle of inclination of the ramp is right at 10 degrees.